Hello, BBC. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. This was their final tower. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. The Americans are over the Rhine. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucer. Three, two, one, zero, zero, zero. Computers now have primary control of critical functions. Well, hello, tubers. I hope you are all well wherever you are here in the digital universe we call YouTube. Today's audio podcast is coming to you from the state of Oregon, where you wonderful people are voting today in what should be your exercise of democracy in your republic. And if you haven't voted today, I suggest you do. I don't particularly care whom you vote for, but I suggest that you do so, so that at least you can say you exercised your rights that so many people died for. Least we forget the blood that was shed for these inherent rights. And until functional democracy and personal rights return to you, the people, this is your only opportunity for a voice. So I suggest you use it. As for the actual topic of politics, as my years grow on, I find that I have less respect for the interests of any political party or agenda, but more enthusiasm for ideas. I'll explain what I mean by this. I see modern politics like this. Picture we are all in a sinking ship with a whole host of problems. A group of people are on the promenade deck arguing about the color of the lifeboat and whom should lead it. And while everyone is arguing about this, I am the kind of guy who would just quietly launch a lifeboat and get in. And honestly, if you didn't climb aboard when I did on the lifeboat, I could care less about the consequences of others who are too stupid to see the big picture of what we are actually dealing with. That's my metaphor for politics, folks. And I come to this opinion as someone who has sat in many meetings for many government agencies and seen with my own eyes those who care more about their own interests, their own ideas of political correctness, and lose track of what is really important, the execution of ideas. Yes, ideas are more important than politics. Ideas that are in motion are even more so of importance. And politicians from the left and the right are often drowning in their own agendas when great ideas and the ability to execute them for the better good is lost completely to them. So you might say I am a non-political fundamentalist. I hate all politicians equally and have a healthy mistrust for them all. But I like good ideas, and good ideas that people have, especially when they are done for the better good of you people, the taxpayers. And speaking of taxpayers, I assume you realize that your money is often better spent in your hands than in the hands of any government. And you spend it in the most important places, the communities you live in, and with the people you love. So I suggest in the strongest way possible to live your life as best as you can, have less reliance on government for what you need, and live with strong skepticism for any political party that tries to convince you that they are really here to help you. Only you can help you. So until we can actually learn to live without politicians and be the masters of our own lives and our own money, I wish you all well on your experiment in democracy here in the Republic. Signed, a fellow ally in the struggle for simple truth and ideas with execution, not politics.